Hi, I'm Palash Jyoti Mohanta, co-founder and chief operating officer of Oleta Systems Private Limited. Born and brought up in Guwahati, Palash Jyoti Mohanta started his schooling in Maharshi Vidya Mandir and then went to Army Public School Narangi. Later, he completed his graduation in electronics and telecommunication from Roy Global University. Uh, I started my journey as an entrepreneur in 2013, uh, starting an event organizing firm. It was a new thing and a very popular thing in the city of Guwahati. Uh, then Oledas was started by my co-founders uh, in 2014 and I joined them in 2015 and since then we have been working together. Oleta Systems Private Limited is the first core electronics company of Northeast India uh, with the idea of making Northeast and, the, and our country more uh, capable of developing hardwares. We are already capable of making software, the lovely software industry is already there. Starting initially from an edtech company where we focus on the electronics and trainings of electronics. Today Oleta stands uh, as a reputed manufacturer of generic parts for electronic components. At today's time, we are also giving our services and products to international clients, like we have clients from US, Germany, Australia, uh, New Zealand, and uh, many African countries also. Especially the first year of our business, we didn't need much of investment because we are more into the educational part where our knowledge was our investment. In that time also, we generate some significant amount of money and we pull in around 3 lakh rupees and then we started our uh, manufacturing and the e-commerce division. So we raised fund only in 2019 from NetFee Ventures and besides that we have got a lot of mentoring from our college teachers. That mentoring or that relation building has been our only way of marketing. Initially as in uh, ad tech company and then building generic parts, most parts are being bought by either ad tech companies who are in the uh, department of machine learning or maybe working in robotics or colleges. At least the first two and three Three years that was our market where our generic parts were uh, sold we talked with a lot of professors these professors from different colleges from IITs NITs from uh, local colleges like AEC and uh, many polytechnic colleges the professors have told us what actually is required in the curriculum or what the students want to know so this helped us a lot now since we work in a very niche market so we have to build a very niche network which has been uh, helping us once we were able to make that particular kind of products which was well circulated throughout India, we started getting requirements and connections we got from bigger corporates and bigger industries who wanted to make their industry smarter. All those machines are still being uh, imported. However, these machines are not that uh, tough to be made also and we understood that that is a very good market which can be catered and hence we uh, jumped into that also and from generic parts now to sophisticated machineries that's our network and as in challenges yeah definitely there were a lot of challenges initially but somehow we have been lucky also being the first movers we have been able to crack those gaps which are there and uh, especially uh, we have divided our roles in such a way that we study a certain par part of it like uh, the execution and supply chain is well thought and understood by Paras Pratim uh, Bhattakur, he is the CEO. The technology and the developments, the new age technologies are always studied and regularly studied by Nilot Paul. Uh, Nilot Paul Rafa is the CTO of the company. I make sure that the production is well, uh, the linkage is well, the, the qualities are well and that's how we understand when we learn things on a very uh, minute level, on a day to day basis, making sure that we keep on learning and that's how we have grown till now. Olatas has also been associated with the Indian Institute of Entrepreneurship. They have been invited as panelists in many of the events at IIE. IIE's uh, platforms helps us the most because we just have to introduce ourselves and since it's all about businesses, they understand what are we going to give them and we understand their requirement also. You don't have to fear that okay I need this much of money, that much of things, that much of help. It's all about you having the courage to start off. Once you start, the things will rope up. Yeah, there will be challenges but take those challenges as a motivation, uh, a kick for yourself. Every small challenge is a milestone for you to achieve. Let it be your own one particular business or if you have multiple business, it's all about what kind of an innovation you do and how regularly you do it. If you can have a persistent innovation in your business, that's how your business will grow and you will also grow. That's the mantra. Thank you. This case study video was presented to you by Indian Institute of Entrepreneurship. To celebrate India completing 75 glorious years of independence, Azadi Ka Amrit Mahatsav.